What's up, VC? People around the world? YouTubers? Trolls? This is Bobby who's spitting the truth about records. Haven't made a video in a while. Been busy. Been going at it. Working. You know, doing the thing. Christmas is on the way. Gotta get something under the tree. You know how it is. But anyways, today's video is going to be about the Guns N' Roses new reissues on Use Your Illusion 1 and Use Your Illusion 2. How do they compare to some of the other reissues? Supposedly it's newly remastered from the analog tapes. But we know from what we've gone through that that's not always the truth. But we're going to tell you how it sounds and if it's better. But for those that watch me, you know how I like to get down. You already know how I like to get down. I like to get down with the featured record of the day. Every episode I have, I show you a record of an artist that I think you should check out. Today, Louis Jordan, Man We Were Wailing. Original Mercury, great record. Louis Jordan also, somebody up there digs me. And for you lazy mofos, Louis Jordan's greatest hits. Some of the songs like Choo 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 Boogie, Let the Good Times Roll. Ain't nobody here but it's chickens. Beware, Caledonia, knock me a kiss. This, if you're not into this artist or you're not hip to him, get hip. All these records can be had for peanuts. And they're good. It's old school. Like when I say old school, I mean old school. Like 20s to 30s to 40s. Some 50s. But I think some of these, most of these were put out in the 50s. This guy is a phenomenal horn player that talks a bunch of shit too. He's great. Louis Jordan, classic. Check it out. Now on to the Guns and the Roses. Newly remastered from the original analog tapes. For the first time. They say for the first time. Here's my other pressing of Use Your Illusion. Now the other one of Use Your Illusion is a non-gatefold. You just get that, that. This is the newest one. Now when you get this new one, you get a gatefold. You open it up, you get that. That's cool. It's a decent sleeve. You get two polylined inner sleeves. You get a weird label. Here, I'll show you. This is a different label than the rest of the Guns N' Roses. Quiet wax, no clicks, no pops, polylined inner sleeve. But how does it sound to the 2016 or the 2012? One's a Ryan K. Smith, one's another one. But how does it sound compared to the both of them? This also comes with this. Now, guys, before I get into that, I'm going to... You guys know me. I'm already going to get into it. All right, let's go. The new reissue blows every else thing out of the water. It's not even close. Uh, this one's a 2000... Uh, 12. I have the Ryan K. Smith down here, but I just brought this up to show you. This one sounds opaque, dull, not too bad, but the vinyl's a little messy. The sound quality is what you expect from a digitally cut record. Uh, this new one blows it away. Sounds clearer. Everything is good on it. Uh, Guns N' Roses sounds like it's supposed to. Slash wailing out on his guitar, clear highs. Now, is it all analog? Don't know. Do I care? I would like to have it all analog, but this one sounds beautiful, and I'm happy as hell to have a good sounding copy of Use Your Illusion. This one, compared to the CD, I also have the CD. It's good. I mean, I can't say which one's better, but since I like vinyl, I'm going to say this one is better. This new reissue is the best Guns, Guns N' Roses Use Your Illusion 1. I'm going to head to the store and get Use Your Illusion 2, the blue one. I already have uh, the 2016 RKS uh, version, 
and the 2012 user illusion but I'm gonna get the new one because I wanted to see how this first one sounded how it compared to the other ones and I'm telling you it's no contest for $39.99 why not get the best sounding copy of use your illusion one and two now I pay for all my records none of my stuff is sponsored at all this is the one to get it's in print now why not pick it up you get a cooler label it's different the sound is clear, it just jumps out of the speakers, the vinyl is quiet. It's what you want from a reissue. And digital art, analog, if it sounds good, doesn't matter. I'm not going to be one of those audiophiles that tells you anti-digital. Yes, would I prefer it analog? Yes, I would. And by the way, I don't like MoFi's, just to let everybody know I hate MoFi's. And most audiophile LPs suck. There, I said it. But anyways, what else did you pick up, Bobby, during the week? Well, like I said, I've been working a lot. So, you know, I grabbed whatever I could find. I grabbed the Blow Monkeys, Animal Magic. I don't know anything about the Blow Monkeys. But, I don't know. Maybe one of somebody who watches the video will know anything about them. The dude had blue eyes and it said Animal Magic and it sounded like an 80s synth pop thing from what I read about it. So, why not? Also picked up Alice Cooper's Greatest Hits. Now, for those who know... Uh, Friday Music just released uh, Alice Cooper's Greatest Hits. So everybody's dumping off their uh, originals of the Greatest Hits of Alice Cooper. So I picked this one up, near mint copy, for like five bucks. Why the heck not? Also, because Christmas time is coming, I picked up a copy, a German pressing, of uh, Duke Ellington's Nutcracker. Off the Phillips label. And also, I'm a Nutcracker nut. Yes, I am. Every Nutcracker copy of all these things, I try to, you know, grab and see which one's the best. So, you know, every time I see a Nutcracker, I grab it. Every time I see a Nutcracker Suite, I grab it. 2LP from London, I grab it. This Nutcracker from Boston, the Chicago Nutcracker, Pierre Grant Nutcracker, UK Press, Nutcracker Suite, the Nutcracker box set, Phillips, the Nutcracker, and the Nutcracker. I will get to some Nutcracking in a later video. But for those that watch me, that's all I got for you today. Hope to make another video, maybe in less than 12 days like this time. This is Bobby who's spitting the truth about records. Deuces.